So today we're going to be talking about rates and ratios. We're not really going to spend a whole lot of time talking about conversions today, but we're going to walk through some vocab and examples for ratios and rates. So a ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division. So anytime we have a fraction, it's also considered a ratio. Now these have to have the same units in order to be considered a ratio. Okay, so feet to feet, inches to inches, money to money. You're comparing two things. So we can do that, like I said, as a fraction. We can literally write the word A to B to show the ratio, or we can simplify it and make it a colon to show that this is a, a comparison of A and B. So those are three different ways that you can show a ratio. Now a ratio that has different units, so maybe money over um, items, or you could do miles over hour, things like that, those are called rates. So a rate with a denominator of one is called a unit rate. Now remember a denominator of one means that, that, that um, one is on the bottom of the fraction. So things that you might have um, a denominator of one on the bottom would be if you're talking about money over bananas. So that's my item. So it's 40 cents for one pound of bananas. That is considered a unit rate because I have different units, money and pounds, and I have a denominator of one. I'm figuring out how much it costs for one pound of bananas. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today. Let's see some examples of how that might work. So anytime I have something that asks you for the best deal, it's always considered unit rate. So in this example, I'm shopping for t-shirts. I wanna figure out what's the cheapest deal to get the cheapest price on this t-shirt. So I don't want two shirts or four shirts or three shirts. I just wanna figure out and compare how much it costs for one shirt at every store. So let's talk about store A. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a ratio or a unit, I'm gonna write a rate um, for what price they're giving me in the sale sign. So for store A, it's $25 for two t-shirts. Now that's not a unit rate, that's just a regular rate. And it's really important when you're writing those out that you always have the money on top. So $25 to two shirts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write that out for every store. So at store B and C, I have it's 45 for four and $30 for three. I'm just writing out that ratio to see what they're giving me and now I need to compare them. It's hard to compare to figure out what's the best price just by looking at those ratios as they are. So for store A, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide in my calculator, I'm just gonna take 25 divided by two, and when I do that, I get 1250. So that means it's 1250 per shirt, okay? So that doesn't really tell me much yet because I can't compare to everything else yet. So I'm gonna look at store B. Store B, if I do 45 divided by four in my calculator, I get 11.25. So that means it's $11.25 per shirt. And then store C, 30 divided by three, gives me $10 per shirt. So if the question is asking me what's the best deal, I'm gonna look at the cheapest amount, the cheapest unit rate. Okay, so definitely store C is gonna be the best deal. $10 per shirt is the cheapest that there is out there.